Yo amigos, this is Patrick V and welcome to a new video on the channel. In this video I'm gonna talk to you guys uh, about staying a longer, alive longer in uh, hardcore game modes and improving your kill death ratio. But before we're gonna begin, if you want to be a better hardcore player, be sure to hit that subscribe button so I can teach you how to get better. Alright, so this is not a camp guide. Uh, I think camping isn't... Yeah, you don't need a lot of skills to camp. Uh, to sit in a corner, wait for people to come around the corner. And personally, I don't really get the point in playing the game if you're going to sit in one corner. Uh, but that's just me. And if you want to do that, uh, then this is not the guide for you. All right, so the first tip I'm going to give to you guys is... Don't worry about your KD. I mean... If you're new to the game, and I know a lot of guys are new to the game, don't worry about your KD because like you will improve over time, that's one. And if you play the objectives and because of you playing the objective, uh, your team wins, that's way more important. So yeah, definitely focus on objectives before focusing on your KD. And well, using the tips in this guide, you eventually will improve on your KD. So use these tips, get better at the game, get familiar with the game, and your KD will grow as well. All right, so the first sort of topic I wanted to talk to you guys is awareness. Uh, what happens around you, where are the enemies coming from, and how to improve your awareness overall. So first off, learn the most used positions. Um, when you play a couple of times on specific maps, you'll probably notice that some guys like to go to the same locations or uh, the same locations are used by a couple of guys. Um, memorize them and learn a way how you can flank it or how to kill the people on that location uh, you all get a grenade in your loadout so definitely use a grenade for that and also in the game itself because those locations can vary per game um, learn well memorize where the enemy is shooting you from where you're getting killed from and try to flank that person uh, that is what i do many 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 times and sometimes it get me killed like a million times uh, but then other times it get it will get me a lot of kills as well because some players always go to the same location um also don't use those most used positions as much uh, i mean you can use them, but like try to get one or two kills in and then move on. Because, well, you know the most lo uh, used locations, but the enemy knows it as well. So don't use it as much. The next tip I'm going to give to you guys is learn the spawns. And um, it's pretty simple for game modes like TDM, Kill Confirm, Domination. Uh, there are like two sites where you can spawn and the enemy is, is spawned on the opposite side of you. So it's kind of easy to predict. There are very few uh, spawn points. So if you spawn on one side, the enemy is, is probably on the other side, right? And when you are at the enemy spawn and there's a teammate spawning, right in front of you that means the spawn is flipped and well you need to turn around otherwise you get killed in the back um i'm definitely not saying to spawn kill by the way uh, personally i hate that uh, people checking out my streams know that but it is a big advantage uh, on knowing where the enemy is coming from so that's why i addressed the spawn learn the spawn locations and for domination is kind of like easier if you have a and b or c and b you know they're coming from c or from a so don't go in too far just linger around the between your second point between b and the enemy point and you will definitely get some kills so the next point we're going to talk about is movement and actually, well, how to move around the map to maximize on the killing. So 
Well, first tip I'm going to give you in this topic is watch your sprinting and uh, don't sprint too much because the sprint out time is pretty bad. And if you sprint around the corner and an enemy is around the corner walking, he definitely has an advantage over you. Um, the best way to move around the map is move from cover to cover. Always try to have some cover in front of you uh, for those longer distances and aim down the side at a corner or around the corner if you suspect an enemy is around that corner. Personally, I really like to stay at the edges of the map uh, because, well, you don't have to check your behind because you're coming from that side. You don't have to check one of your uh, sides on the left or right. You only have to check out uh, right in front of you and on the left or the right side um, depending on where the edge of the map is. And, well, the, the I'm not saying that you should not go into the middle of the map but if you are in the middle of the map then you can get shot from many directions so i definitely well you should do it because in the middle of the map are a lot of uh, kill opportunities but well don't stay in there too long otherwise you might get killed the next tip i'm well the next topic i'm going to talk to you guys about is uh, gunfights and how to actually win more gunfights um first of all the tip i'm going to give to you guys is find your ideal sensitivity and for that just go to your uh, settings uh, put it on a specific sensitivity and yeah play with it Turn it up one sensitivity to see if that one fits your playstyle a little bit better. And do continue that until you find your ideal sensitivity. And if it's too high, just turn it back, uh, dial down one and you find your ideal sensitivity. All right, so for the gunfights, uh, I mentioned it earlier, uh, try to avoid the sprint out times because that is a... Um, uh, the, the, the enemy has an advantage over you when you are sprinting, so try to avo avoid that. Just run from cover to cover and then try to shoot enemies. Uh, position yourself with cover, so yeah, just like sort of those head glitches. I'm not saying that you should use those, but um, use boxes, crates, corners um, for, for cover. And if you think an enemy is around the corner, pre-aim. This gives you a huge advantage, especially if that person is sprinting around the corner. Then it's, well, like basically a free kill. Uh, when you're in a gunfight, use strafing, meaning move from left to right, right to left, depending on what you uh, like. Uh, but if you're strafing, you're making yourself a harder target to hit. And um, well, that's that's what you want, <laughs> right? So the last tip I'm going to give to you guys is um, there are a lot of best class setups for specific weapons and they are really good. I, I do them myself as well. But those are like personal best class setups. Um, so you can use them to get a general idea on what you like well what others like to play with uh, but definitely adjust them to what you like to play with the most because well it's important for you to be comfortable with a specific class and people can turn you into the right direction but yeah at the end of the day um, it's definitely your own preferences. Uh, for example, I really like to run around with flanker because I run around like a, a madman, uh, but others might not run around as much, so they don't really like to use that uh, uh, basic training. So definitely just experiment with different class setups and find the ideal class for you. All right, so this was it for this video. I do hope this was very useful for you guys. If so, please leave a like, comment on the video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.